Hello, magical fam. So this is Lexi from Powder Famous back with another unboxing for the Joy Crate. So I'm really excited about this one because the first one was the Magical Alley Crate, which I really much liked. And this next one is the Burrow Crate, which I was super excited when I found out it was Weasleys, of course, because who doesn't love the Weasleys? I mean, hey, I had it just for the occasion. I had the Harry Potter Weasley sweater, of course. Oh, and I can't forget my Prefect pin because I am a magical prefect rep for Lidroy Crate. So they kindly gifted me the burrow box. So um, I'm going to be unboxing it for you today. So let's see what we got. So again, packaging is amazing as always, just like the first one where it was Magical Alley based on Diagon Alley, but this one is based on the burrow. So beautiful, look at that, Fred and George's in the back. So cute. I love it. The illustrations are just amazing. Oh my god, look at the back. Harry and Ron, the Ford Anglia. Amazing. So let's get right to it. Okay. So the first thing I see is Witch Weekly. Oh, Gilderoy Lockhart. So I'm guessing this is the cheat sheet. Oh, how cool. Ooh, look at that that's really cute my very own witch weekly magazine but it's this cheat sheet so i'm going to just leave that to the side because i do not want to spoil myself i just want to open everything up and see what we got all right first thing hold on look at this it looks like it is sorry for all the noise We do it fast, unless you like that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Huh. How cute. Look at that. The beanie. I believe this is the one that Ron wore, right? Oh. That's the beanie. It has the little braided yarn on the sides and on the top. Very nice, very nice. Okay, Magnificent Marmalade, date 9-2, batch 3. Ooh. So it's a candle. That's very cute, like the way it's packaged, I like that. I always love a good candle too, so hey. Very nice, let's see, let's see what it smells like. Oh. Smells good. Really good. It's like breakfast morning, right? Morning, yeah. Morning at the Weasleys. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Mm, smell my breakfast. Let's see. Too close. That's what. That's the candle. Very cute. Yeah. Let's make a noise. Oh, look at that. It's a clock. Oh, cool. Look. How cute. So it's the Weasley clock. So it has all the spoons of on all the family members, of course, showing where they are. How cute. Look at that. So it has, let's see, they can be traveling, in prison, lost, Quidditch, Mortal Peril, Taylor, Bed, Holiday, Forest, Work, Garden, School, and Home. Cool. And yep, see, there's all the family members on there. So just like the clock that they have at the Weasley House in the borough. So that is really nice. Look, and it's an alarm clock. So we find it. Let's see. Is it supposed to see if there's batteries in it? Okay, so it does light up in the back. There's a thing to where it lights up, but it needs double A battery in it. So I do not have batteries let me show you, but just know it does light up and it makes noise. Okay, and this is to set the time. 
Okay. Ooh, I can't wait to see when it's lit up because that'll be like really cute. Okay. So I'm gonna the next thing. Denoming spray, ha <laughs> as seen in Witch Weekly. Let your magical collection. Denoming spray, <laughs> will not harm houseplants. Spray liberally over garden to subdue and disorient gnomes before the relocation. It's funny. Look at that. It reminds me, the picture reminds me of oil can from Tin Man and Wizard of Oz. Oil can? Uh, oh! Any Wizard of Oz fans? One of my favorite movies. Okay. Thing. Only thing that bothers me, pet peeves. Okay, I wish the sticker was on more straight. <laughs> it is kind of crooked. So yeah, I wish that at least. But hey, that's fine. It's cute though. Or do you know me? So hey, very cute. All right, let's see. Next up, close back with that inside. Oh, I got my other prefix pin. It's my other one. So I have two now. So I have a purple one with the silver and a black with the gold. Love it. Now I have two. Yay. Oh, this is part of the coin collection that they have. So last time for the Magical Alley Crate, it was the Alohomora coin. Now this one is Lumos. Oh, Wand Lighting Charm. Very cool. And it has, this up close, you can't see. And then the back showing the movement of the wand to create the most. Very cute. So now I have two. It comes in the little green pouch, just like the last one. If you didn't get the Magical Alley Crate, but this is what we had for the other one, but it was a little more. And it had to move it for a little more in the back. So now I have the two together. All right, next up. Let's see. Uh -huh, okay. So, Mr. Mrs. Dursley, four privet drive, little winging, whining survey. Oh, so it's a little envelope bag. And it has all of the stamps, everything on there. So I guess you can use this for anything really like makeup or maybe pencils, pens, or even like a little, if you have like a little iPad, mini iPad, something, maybe that could fit in here. I don't know. Even a book, you put a book in there. Anything, yeah. So that's another one. one it's in this tan bag it can be in here okay it says Weasley's family recipes oh so it's like a little cookbook huh look at that it's a little cookbook that Molly would have Okay, so it has a blank sheet for recipes on there, so you can put your own, and then blank pages here, so I'm guessing you can like maybe put pictures or, or not pictures, you can put recipes in there, but you could put pictures too, why not? But that's cool. I do wish, honestly, 
if since it was a Weasley family recipe book. I wish it did have ingredients in it. That would be cool for something. Recipes of different things. I don't know. Instead of me having to make them up. But they do give you a sheet. Or at least maybe some more sheets so you could fill up. Because it only gives you one. So I do wish it had more. But I do kind of wish it had maybe at least one recipe or two that something Molly could have made. But it's a cute little book though. I love that it's engraved with the bag. Right. On to the next. Let's see. The last, honestly, oh, last no. There's a couple more things in here. <laughs> There's a picture frame of the whole Weasley clan. Look at that. All of them there with their Weasley sweater. See, I know. I match. See, I put my Harry Potter one. Very nice. You can put that in your little Weasley corner of your Harry Potter room or Weasley corner of your shelf, anything. And that will complement that very nicely with, of course, that beautifully illustrated family photo of the Weasley clan. Oh, and you can, you don't have to, the frame can put it on something, lean it back, or you can hang it up. Because it does have a hook to hang, or a little, whatever the things are called, to hook it up. But yeah. Oh, another one of the printed cards of illustration of the Goro. Very pretty. I love these because you can make them into a series of pictures inside of a nice frame for all these. If they, I'm guessing each one that they bring out for the magic, the magical subscription crates will be having each one of these illustrated cards. It's really pretty. I love the way they feel. It's really soft. The other one felt the same same way. The one from Magical Alley, right? The illustrations are really beautiful. Oh, and we have a, another boot. Uh, boot. <laughs> another bookmark. Weasley's Wizard Weezes photo booth. Huh. So you have Fred and George. Just like how the other one was. Okay, last item, I believe. So this is, this certifies that Arthur Weasley and Mo Molly Prewitt, Prewitt, ah, I don't know, were in, united in magical matrimony according to the laws of the Wizarding World on 13th day of June, 1900. Okay. And, oh, hold on. 1,968. See, I had a thing for me. I was like, 1,900? How old are these guys? Okay. <laughs> okay. 1,968. Okay. So that's what it was. All right. Witnesses. Septimus Weasley. Jarella Weasley? Is that Jarella Weasley? Corella? I don't know. And Fabian Prowitt and Gideon Prowitt. There. I love how it has the gold foiling on there. That's real nice. So this is their marriage certificate. So that's also like a nice little compliment you can put on your shelf, your Weasley shelf. Nice little items like that. And it actually looks like they wrote on there, like the pen marks and everything is on there. Yeah, that's this. Hmm, and this, oh, the bro. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's like, this is a sticker? I don't know if this is supposed to be like a sticker. Oh, yeah, it is a sticker. Huh. Maybe a little burrow sticker, I'm not sure. That's supposed to go somewhere like, I don't know. But yeah. A little sticker says the borough and it says 1 2021. So, 
so that was it for the burrow crate. So I got the same of all the items. My most favorite. Let's see what my most favorite was. Actually, I like how it, you know, it's a modern, more modern version of their, is it a modern? I don't know if it would be really modern. I don't know, but it's a clock based off their clock that they have in their burrow. And I actually, I like that. I kind of wish the spoons were real. <laughs> Like they had to put the spoons like i wish it was like 3d that'd be cool so that one i like that one and i i like reminds me i do it reminds me of the movies so i really like that of course we needed something like that in here yes and i can't wait to burn the candle because i love candles i do oh you know what i didn't look at the inside of the Witch Weekly magazine. So on the front, Witch Weekly, Gildor Lockhart, five-time winner of the Most Charming Smile Award. Okay, this season, it's this season's hottest robe colors. Treckle tart? Trickle tart? I'm sorry, I'm like the worst words. Goodness. All right, three ways. Charms and tricks for great hair every day. Oh, so nice. Let's see of each item so it gets more into detail it's a lot to read that's a good thing they have a lot of detail about everything that they put in here and how they thought of everything and i believe if you were to get this crate you can read through all of this if you are, are interested in subscribing to let joy crate just know coming up next is the big seven which would be this crate coming up so that one should be something to look forward to it is featuring items representing Harry, Ron, Hermione, Neville, Jenny, Luna, and Draco. Ooh, I'd like to see the Draco stuff, actually. That would be kind of, hmm, I'm interested. So they're open now. This crate ships April 20th through 25th of this year. So if you're interested, sign up and you can get this crate for April. And um, you can use my code. It is PotterPrimos10. That will get you 10% off. Uh, add-ons and I believe items already in the shop not the crate itself so if you're interested in all the other items add-ons and things you can do that well thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time for another unboxing and bye